I want to talk about Steve Kerr for a little bit because normally you go into a 10th season somewhere. That's when franchises, players that you've been around their entire career start to drown you out, but not Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr, it's a remarkable run which has produced more titles than any other head coach in Bay Area professional sports history. Look, Bochy won three championships. Bill Walsh won three championships. Steve Kerr has won four championships, and I'm no math major, but four is more than three. The last time I did my research, Steve is stubborn. Uh, Steve is set in his ways. And these are ways that if they were your ways, you would be set into as well because they have produced incredible amounts of wins for a franchise that literally couldn't do anything but step on its own dick. I mean, went from bumbling, stumbling, totally irrelevant Golden State Warriors to a model NBA franchise and one of the most valuable franchises any sport in the world. So things have gone well for Steve Kerr. His four championships, again, you cannot question any of them. And the reason why he has so much universal respect is because of the mentorship program that he's been in throughout his playing days career and then what he's taken from being around all that greatness. Like, I really do think you could go to Harvard or Stanford or Yale and teach a class and be right on the premise that no NBA entity has ever been touched by more greatness or has had the ability to access as much greatness around him as Steve Kerr has. I mean, he's really living one of the single most charmed lives in sports history. His career has been intertwined with Lou Olson, Phil Jackson, Tex Winter, Greg Popovich, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Tim Duncan, Steph Clay and Dre, and these are just the guys that he's either coached or played with or played for. Then you go and you factor that he is the grand poobah of Team USA right now and all the greatness that comes with that. I mean, he operates in an orbit of sports excellence that is very unfamiliar to the rest of us. And then you factor in that he is unquestionably, and I really mean this, as someone who has talked to him on the record and off the record for the entirety of his career as head coach of the Golden State Warriors, Steve Kerr is a first ballot human, first ballot Hall of Fame human being. He's a good man. He's... he's He's just thoughtful. I mean, he, he's, a, he's, he's not a screamer. He is someone who cares deeply about everyone around him. And it's impressive to be with Steve Kerr. There's no doubt that his personality is directly attached to the success that this franchise has enjoyed under his tutelage. He's, he's just a phenomenal guy. Oh, I don't like that rotation. I don't like that substitution pattern. Okay. I mean, there's some times where you might not be wrong. But he is something else. And the success that he has had with this franchise is remarkable.